guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kelsey. Thank you so much for joining me today. And today is day 17 of Vlogmas. And I just kind of wanted to chat with you guys today with my little puppy nose here. Hi, bum. Hi. I just wanted to chat with you guys today about um, some eyeshadow palettes. So over the course of 2018, I had a goal to pan a palette. Or not necessarily like pan a palette, like I didn't want to like finish a palette, but I did have a palette in mind that I wanted to get some good use on and like just really try and use and maybe hit pan on like a few of the shades. That palette was the Morphe and Kathleen Lights palette. Now I do love this palette. Like this goes down in my books as one of my favorite palettes. You just have so many different options here. You've got like your light, like matte color. You have a great highlight. You've got some cool tones. You have a ton of warm tones. You've got shimmers, mattes. You've got a transition shade. You've got a black. There's just like so many options here for shadows and like for different looks. Now my goal was at the beginning of the year, I did have pan, just a small pan on this like matte color here. So I have definitely used that quite a bit. Um, and then I wanted to get some more use on the highlight shade, but I was really wanting to make some progress on like this tan color, maybe this mustard color, some of the reds, and like the shimmers a little bit. I haven't really used this as much as I had hoped. So I think I did just one check-in on this for the year, and I think that happened in like end of summer maybe? I don't remember. I was wanting to do like so many more looks with this. But I think because I had this idea in my mind that I was like wanting to use this a lot, I never wanted to touch it. Like I love this palette, I travel with this palette because it's such a great travel palette. But there was just something about while I was home, it would sit on my vanity and I would look at it and be like, I need to use that, I'm supposed to use that, I should use that, and then I would grab something else. And so I don't think I'm gonna try and do a pan that palette this coming year, obviously, because I failed miserably at this one. Um, but I do really like this palette still. And so my thought was to kind of share with you some eyeshadow palettes that I've used a ton this year. So this is probably my most used palette this last year of 2018. Not just because I was trying to like use it up, obviously I didn't do that, but because I just honestly really like it. And like like I said, this is like my go-to travel palette. I have to take this with me when I travel because there's just so many different options you can use in this. And so this is probably my most used palette of 2018 and I will continue using it. I love this palette. But I thought I would share with you a few other palettes that I ended up using a lot this year as well. My next most used is probably this Pure palette. This is the Pure Soiree Diaries palette. And this was in a BoxyCharm last year. I actually got this in September of 2017. So I've had this a little over a year. But this is what the inside of the palette looks like. You have eight matte shades and then four like super metallic shades. And I love this palette. I have come pretty dang close to hitting pan on this one. There's a theme here. You see, I've been using these like matte cream colors a lot. Um, but I love like this shade here. It's called Gala. This shade here is called Socialite. Beautiful. Um, I love all of these shimmers. It just kind of depends on what mood I'm in as to, as to what is my favorite, but I love all of them. The quality of this is so great, and because this is so neutral, like you've got warms and cool tones, I just found myself using this over and over and over again. This is probably my second most used palette, and I will continue to use this for a very long time. I love this palette. My next most used is probably the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. Now, this is a beautiful palette. It's on the higher end as far as like price goes. But this is so pretty. I feel like there's a theme here. It's like neutrals leaning a little pink. Um, there was definitely a theme for like 2018 for me and even like back into like the fall of 2017, I just really wanted like warm pink eyes. Not even necessarily like the orangey warms, but like pinks and reds. I love it, I still do. Um, 
But this is such a great palette. I am sure if you've been around YouTube for any length of time, you've probably heard about this palette. This has been a favorite on YouTube for a while. I highly recommend this palette. I don't think any of these shadows I'm really close to hitting pan on, but I have used a lot of these. Some of my go-tos, um, Bon Fresco, which is like this cool matte pink. It's actually like super similar to the color of the packaging. Love that color. Let's see, what other ones? Primavera is this gold shimmer color. Also, this one here, which is called Vermeer. Both of those shimmers are beautiful. Um, I use Golden Ochre a lot as like a transition shade. Also, Burnt Orange. This one here, I use that often. Um, Warm Taupe is another good one. I dip into the pinks like Love Letter, which is this one here, and then these two up here every so often, but really those like more neutral colors along with the Bon Fresco shade, that's probably my most used color in this palette. It is beautiful, it's such a different shade. I feel like I don't have anything like a lot of these shades in another palette, except for the Wet n Wild Rose in the Air palette, which is kind of like a dupe for this, but I, I love both of those palettes, this one and the Wet n Wild one, um, but this one would be my choice over the Wet n Wild one. So this is probably my third most used palette. The last palette I wanna talk about is from Winky Lux, and it's the Kitten palette. And this is a palette that I honestly didn't like when I first got it. This was another BoxyCharm palette. And when I first got this, I was just like not inspired by this. I didn't like it. I think the blue was throwing me off. I don't ever use blues, but I think it, like I just saw it and was like, yeah, I'm not gonna use this next and like moved on to the other thing. But I ended up picking this back up and like using it and I love it. This is probably one of my, I mean, this is by far one of my favorite palettes of the year. And I have used this so much. Again, this is a great palette that I like to travel with because you do get like some different looks. You can go with like a golden eye, kind of like a pinky red eye. You can throw in the blue if you want to. You've got a dark brown. You can add that and do like a super neutral eye. This shade though here is the most beautiful shade in the palette. It's called Holographic. And it's like a holographic blue pink shade. It's beautiful, stunning, but I just, I love this palette. I think this is so great, and I don't think this is too, too expensive. I wanna say Winky Lux is kind of like that mid-range. But so these are some of like my most used and loved eyeshadow palettes of the year. Um, I would love to hear about some of yours down below. I love eyeshadow and I have way too many palettes, which I did an eyeshadow declutter a few, like a week or so ago. Um, I'll link that above, but I love eyeshadow, but 2018 was kind of the year of like the simple eye look for me. From about May until probably like October, I maybe did eyeshadow like twice a week. And by eyeshadow, I mean like actually like a look, like putting stuff on my lid, into my crease. But my go-to was honestly just putting on a little bit of primer, putting a matte shadow all over the lid and then just using like highlight on my brow bone on the inner corner maybe a touch on my lid and that was it and then I would like throw on some mascara and do my brows and that was like my go-to look for a good chunk of the year and it was just like a really busy season of life and so it just kind of like was easy and simple and I didn't have to think about it and it looked good but not overdone I could throw on a liner if I wanted to and make it like a really simple winged liner but it was just easy. But in the last like two months or so, I just have really been wanting to get back into eyeshadow. Like I said, I love eyeshadow. And so I've been busting out the palettes again. I bought the Jeffree Star Alien palette because I really wanted to like challenge myself. It's colors I've never used and it's been so fun to play around with. And recently my go-to look has been pretty similar to this on like a day-to-day -day basis. So I'll just like throw a shimmer shadow on my lid, something in the crease. So still super simple, but like once a week or so, I kind of pull out a palette, take my time and have a little fun with makeup. And I've been missing that for the last like few months. So eyeshadow is fun. It's really cool. So again, I'd love to hear about some of your favorites. Leave them down below. Um, if you like some of these, let me know. Cause I feel like besides the, 
Modern Renaissance palette. I don't really feel like anyone talks about these eyeshadow palettes, so if you have tried these, I would love to hear your thoughts below. But that was my video today. Like I said, it was gonna be just like something super simple and chatty and just wanted to talk about eyeshadow because I like eyeshadow and I like talking and I like talking to you. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. I would love to have you around. And until next time, bye guys.